Hello and welcome to welcome this. The back. oh yeah, <laughs> welcome back from Alexios Icarus there. But oh, welcome we'll back, back from Al Alex, people. me, to you guys for the ninth episode. This is of the Bush Red Cross 19 hour fundraiser. Um, yeah, this will be a bit more Assassin's Creed. The last episode was a uh, half hour Hitman mission, and today we're doing some more assassinating, which will be Assassin's Creed. We'll go onto the map, and yeah, what are we gonna do? Now we have actually completed all. Right, let me have a look. I want to find out what exactly we're gonna be doing. Okay, I'm having a little look. Uh, sorry, one sec, let me just have a look at what is going on. Yeah, Sparta is a lot smaller than Athens, city-wise. So yeah, what we'll do is... I'll give you a, We're just going to do some small sort of quests-like things. Uh, that I want to complete to get XP. Obviously, this, these will, these sort of things that will have completed will have been manned again, uh, but I don't get XP for completing those. So I'll do this one. What does it say? It says poor market, and yet it doesn't say there's anything to do. No doubt there will be something to do, so we will head there. So we'll do that. Then we'll do. No, no, we'll do that one. Then we'll do this. Then we'll do this. Then we'll do this. And then we'll see where to go from there. So yeah, we'll head this way. I don't. It doesn't say there's any objective. Presumably there is. Yeah, this is early morning. As I said before in some other episodes, I did record an episode, an hour of Assassin's Creed gameplay. That didn't go up in the end because my mic cut out, and it was actually completing those other sort of locations in Athens. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. Uh, but yeah, we'll go and do these. Hello, fellow mercenary. I've got no bounty on me, so you have no reason to kill me. You'll need more training, young yeah, look, there's, this has been. Um, Keep away if you don't want trouble. Yeah, they won't ask any questions. No, Best keep out of sight. That oh, wasn't very nice. I could take my horse, but I think on this side of Athens, the one I'm running into, there's a lot more sort of smaller alleys and back streets that it'll probably be faster just to go on foot. Even though this bit here was obviously quite a bit of an open city. Yeah, there's a lot of temples around this area. It's a bit of a grim day to be honest. I mean, it's a nice um, dawn, but it is raining. Yeah, look, you can see these are almost the slums of uh, Athens. Yeah. Or at least not as wealthy. But yeah, that top sort of quest, blue quest mark you can see is a user made mission, which I don't necessarily want to do at the moment. We're gonna have a problem if you step any closer. Uh -huh. So there is actually something to do. God, there was a car that just went by very fast. Oh, 
Oh, well, for some reason he's wanting to fight me. In this food episode, if you can hear me um, spamming L1 in the fights on my controller, I'm sorry. I think all I have to do is take the treasure. Yeah. There are a few soldiers here. I'll get to some fighting. I feel like I want to fight. Just because they found the dead body. We'll kill this guy on his own. just in case. Yeah, my ship's actually there. We'll head over to this point. For sure, I don't know how long that'll take. Cramp onto the walls. I think this might be a horse job, actually. Because that is kind of far and it is a bit more open here. This is the sort of bit that goes from Athens to the port. Of pyramids, I think it's called. Yeah. Anyway, we'll go to the map marker. <laughs> this game was my very historically accurate ride, my blue pony. On fire with the skull. Yeah, the soldier there. That looks like a location. No, I hope it's not. I don't know how long this bit will take doing these sort of locations that I've set out. I'm not sure what we'll do after them. Maybe we'll go to a bouncy board uh, and do that. Or maybe we'll go to another city and do some random location points. You can see it's that sort of military port, but this is all the port, but that's like the militarised bit. And there's the exit. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. We'll go just up here. And we'll get on the horse. I think it's actually a bit further forward. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because otherwise that's like barely any soldiers. One, two. I've only got one more supply at the moment. I think that might be it. I don't think there's many soldiers here. It is a pretty quiet sort of area. So I guess we don't need that much. Alright, we'll do some roof running. Where is my ship? That's not my ship, that's an Athenian ship. Well, that was meant to be a bit there. Loot this treasure. Burn more spies. Yeah, there was literally no one here. I guess it is a very sort of empty part of the uh, port, so I mean, I guess. Well, apart from the fact that there is a bounty hunter coming towards me, which we don't want. like a sword. Yeah, I don't really reach maximum capacity that often. But you know what? I can't see a fire. That was unexpected. I didn't think I would fully kill him straight away. I don't want to body lie him out in this bit either. We'll dump him in the um Yeah, I don't think I can run, because even though I only dismantled with one weapon. Usually I can run with bodies, I think.
Oh yeah, I'm going to have to dismantle quite a few weapons actually. Let's equip that. Dismantle, dismantle. Let's do all of these. You can't do the gold ones, but... I'm getting resources at least. So I can craft my arrows and whatnot. Suddenly, get all these. Or oh, it might just be the this one's doing the base a bit laggy. You get the nice sights and sounds of the Greek world. Very lovely. Sorry, mate. Something I completed already. Come on, come on. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't class this bit as a raid, so. There we go. Now, here we go. I don't know what's going on with my game at the moment, because there shouldn't be like all these people crowded together. And it's taking a while to load. I think that might. There might be something up in my game. this guy And the soldiers, because I've got that weird flick, they all seem to be the other end. So this is now really easy for me. Oh. You're going straight to 
that bounty. No, yeah, completed. Although I don't know what's going on in my game at the moment. Because the soldiers aren't moving properly as they should be. As in, they're loading into like some really weird locations. They're just all bundling together. Yeah, I'll do this. This is a bandit camp, but we might as well do it. I haven't really explored this part of Athens because the city just ends, I guess. Like that, it, it doesn't include the whole of the headland. It just ends a little bit before it. At least I think so. Yeah. I mean, this isn't exactly the city, but city grounds at least. It's just sort of free grazing and free uh, leather. Ah, oh, so they're all in this thing. They're sort of. <laughs> they used to be an old. How on earth did you spot me from there? More soldiers than I realise because the camp does go down there. Yeah, but well we can treat it almost in two parts, or well, three actually. This up a bit that middle bit where that guy is lying down for some reason and the lower bit's a completely different bit altogether I don't know if we'll be able to get an overlook to assassinate these guys depends on how close they come to the bottom of the tower we'll definitely be able to use that tree over there It is interesting, and you want to come over here. I owe you my life. Thank you. Killed the prisoners. That was close.
Yeah, they're on the lookout. One more guy to do, although I have already completed it. But it's still a bit of money. So, yeah, we're about halfway through the episode. We've done what I originally set out to do. Now, you know what, Corinth? Seems to actually have kind of a lot of uh, places. I can do that. 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 And that. And then if I want to, I can. Yeah. So, I'll do those. What? I'll do. Well, I need to get out of the Yeah, it's fast travel, we need to be in the clear. There is actually something really cool that you'll see. I'll show you once I fast travel this bit. Yeah, there's like a massive zip wire. Sorry, one second, let me just move my chair. Yeah. There's like a massive zip wire. Um, well, you'll see, you'll see. It's, it looks really cool. Yeah, so that's current. All of this, there is in fact a nation leader in there, but I don't want to do that. I could try and kill him, but now I'm too... Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, the nation leader isn't here, so I'll be able to do the, his house pretty easily. Anyway, so watch this. We do a nice leap of faith there. We have a nice walk along these tightrope kind of things. Oh, he is vulnerable. I could do it. And look at this, look how long this zip wire is. Look. This is sick, isn't it? I even like burn through my uh, helmet things, my spear. You can then jump into that water if you want to, but no, I don't want to. I'm going to the leader house, which is over there. That's a nice sound as well. And we'll get across here. Oh, there's a track. Hey, draw us. Guys, 
Oh, these are... These, um... There was like a, not a cult, there was like a, a gang sort of leader that sort of controlled this city. I did actually take him out, but, um, yeah, hopefully there's not like a random, uh, grouping of soldiers this time. This is a, is this all the leader house? No, this can't be. Yeah, and I took him out, but apparently he's still sort of has men. The watch will be vigilant here. It will indeed. do that if in doubt. Seeing, see. <laughs> I don't exactly know what's going on downstairs though. And why are you spotted on my thing? No. Talking with the enemy. Well, they're not exactly the enemy. I don't really care who wins. 
in the Peloponnesian War. Okay, so we've done the leader house, that should be the, the hardest one to, or the longest. We'll do the stoa. this random guy's horse. Uh, I don't know where you're going there with this looks a bit faster. Oh it's because I won't include this as a road for a horse, these steps. But I don't care. Ah uh, it's this thing. It's one of these buildings. There tend to be a lot of money at these things. There tend to be. Soldiers are dying here, mate. He's just there chilling on his own. Yeah, that one was quick. Uh, we'll go. do that as well after. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll do this. Ah, uh, that could be one as well, but I don't really care. We'll do this one, this one, this one, this one. We'll finish off by the sea. Sound good? You've got about 20 minutes left. So. Sounds good to me. As I said, the last episode was uh, Huntman, Hit not Huntman, Hitman 2. So yeah, tonight I am in the mood for a bit of assassinating, a bit of killing. Not in real life, obviously. That looks cool. Hmm, we'll get on this path. Sure it is, mate. a nice way for them to go. Them to go. But what can I say? Burn that. Oh god. 
Yeah, we're going to want to get rid of our thing. With all oh, the monk, that was the name of the guy. The Monger's Warehouse. That was the name of the guy that kept, um, it was like the bat, the, like the gang leader. And I got rid of him, I killed him, and now his, his men make up my crew on my ship. So I don't know how that works, but... I don't know if he still has troops there or something. Yeah, I literally had a... Alright then, come on. thing burnt down. I don't know how there's still people here then. Am I missing something here? Because I cannot seem to find... This last piece of Trevor. But there is still one. in this bit. I don't really know. Yep, that was right. It's kind of far away. He must stay in this sort of whole end. Well, he doesn't anymore, but he's the last of his loyal followers. That looks like something really fun to burn down. Yeah, look, all of that. Anyway, we'll steal that. Nice bit of armour there. Ah, uh, yeah, we got about 15 minutes left. So this is working out right. There probably is one more thing here, but I can't bother to do that. I don't think we have time. We'll do this merge camp, do this sort of little bit of wall for some reason, and then the west ramp, and that should be, that should be it. Right, we can't do that. I should play that as well. I'm playing this long enough. I think that bit of wall up there, that, that random bit of wall, probably historical monument from in ancient Greece. Um, yeah, I reckon that's the uh, another sort of army camp or army presence we need to take out. Anyway, we'll do this one, which is called a military camp. By those name, by that name, the fact that it doesn't have sort of a name, it doesn't say place name, then military camp. It sounds like a small place. Well, I could be completely wrong. Or it could literally just be a very basic military camp. Yeah. I don't think it is. I 
reckon we can just fight this one. Someone's here. You betcha. I'm gonna kill this guy. Lucky. The officers are dead, all your friends are dead. And now you're dead. Yep. The space is burning a bit. That's how we like to leave it. Oh. See, that wasn't too much. We'll do the wall of the kiss. More supplies. Yeah, there's literally just treasure, two treasures and a captain here. There shouldn't be too much. There usually be a lot of olive trees around this kind of place. And just... Yeah, we're kind of near the... Um, this is kind of a big area actually. Or they might just be kind of large, spread out. Yeah, it seems that way. Bit of an area there. Seems to be barely anything here actually. this video is a lot more fighting than this sort of thing, which is actually the opposite to what they usually is in a video. Uh, we have that normal. Could kick that down for hell. I'm not a bully. Unlucky. The other guys didn't seem to make this. Oh, and I've got to destroy some of my stuff. We'll destroy all these old swords. At least the ones I can destroy. I can't destroy this one though, because I got a limited edition version of the game. Which includes a black sword. But it's obviously cool to do that, but obviously not now. It's like a cross between the an Athenian soldier and um and Mongus men who are sort of like fair armor. I know very well what they look like because they make up like the crew on my ship, aside from the officers, which is as you know, my mum and my sister and um and some random lieutenants. One who is legendary and one who isn't. Didn't quite. Oh, she was, but you can't always get me. And that is that is the last bit, which will work out well, because we've got less than ten minutes to go for this hour episode. So yeah, it's actually just this. This is kind of cool. At least I think so. Let me just check. 
West ramp, yeah, west ramp, and this bit here is east ramp. Essentially, what they used to do is because you can see it sort of, yeah, otherwise you have to go all the way around to the bottom left, all the way around to the Peloponnese. Uh, they would put boats, just pull boats across this little stretch of land here, across these two ramps. So don't have to go all the way around. But obviously they have militarised the west ramp. It's naughty of them. I stay a bit more hidden here because this seems to be a bit more open. There doesn't seem to be any soldiers here, practically. Well, I wasn't quite right, but... Yeah, this seems to be it. I don't even sort of know how far this land stretches out. I mean, is someone there? Yeah, there is. Can you now walk? Or at least choose which way you're going to walk. There was something here. I'm sure of it. Very important to the end. This is, episode is turning into a lot more than it was meant to be. Because I, this guy was a big part of the storyline. Like a big part. him on my ship, so I'll get this Anigmar to Astraka to complete this location. Here you go. So we completed this to get some more XP. But yeah, I should be able to now have all my family on the ship, which you'll see in another Assassin's Creed episode, which I won't, won't be next one, but it might be very soon. Oh, yeah. 
Now I have my whole family on the ship and it's all gold. Yes, yeah, so that was a lot more than I thought I'd be because that's I thought I'd never find that guy again. He's been like a massive part of the whole story. And I chose to fight him and then spare him. So yeah. Anyway, as I do some random looting. Uh yeah, this has been the uh ninth episode of the nineteen hour COVID nineteen Fish Red Cross fundraiser. As always the link will be in the description below. If you can please donate, it's a great cause. Um Yeah. Uh I think I've looted it all. So yeah, with that I'll say uh thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh and bye.